G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, we have another beautiful clear night for some astrophotography. Now we do have a bit of a moon um, shining through. It's, uh, it's almost 50% by the looks, but uh, it's not going to be too much of, a, of an issue. I think we're still going to uh, start to collect some data on what I'm going to be calling panel 68. That's right, this is panel 68 and Orion was panel 67 I think it was. So you might have a bit of an idea on how big this mosaic is going to be and how long it is going to take me to shoot a long time. But we best get cracking in um, capturing as much data as we can for panel 68. Now panel 68 is just below Orion so I've decided to go downwards um, and uh, yeah let me know in the comments which way you think I should go next. Um, I'm going to get a bit of an idea tonight and see just how those two images join together and how they sort of look um, and then we can just continue uh, capturing more data um, over the panel of over the period of panel 68 um, no doubt this is going to take a, a quite a few nights and with the moon already quite high up um, do have a feeling that it's going to be maybe sometime in the new year that uh, this gets finished who knows but yeah beautiful night so let's do some astrophotography and on that you may have noticed something a little bit different with the Rasses I'll show you so here we have the Nikon Z7 which has been astro modded and my Nikon 14 to 24 2.8 uh, S Z lens now this is a bit of a trial run to see how well it all goes uh, on top over time I'll bring this down a lot lower but this is all I had to really sort of set it up. Um, we're going to do a time lapse of this whole thing imaging. I figured it would be pretty cool to have the time lapse on top of the, uh, the rasses instead of set up on a tripod elsewhere which I, I usually do. Um, so I'm pretty excited to see how that works. So some of you might be wondering just how I shoot my time lapses in my videos. Um, I do it all in camera, so I don't bother about uh, shooting individual images and then joining them all together um, in a time-lapse um, software, purely because I'm already stacking images, I'm already processing uh, or editing a video, last thing I want to do is edit a time-lapse and have that on top of all this editing workflow stuff that I've, I've already got to do, I just don't have the time of the day to, uh, to be able to do all that, so it's all done um, in camera and I just take it out of the camera, pop it into the video somewhere and there's my time lapse. Now, my settings I, I shoot is, uh, I've got a one second interval, um, so I like my time lapses to just pretty much roll over straight after um, each other and that's really cool because in the past I've been able to capture meteors um, exploding as well, so uh, having that one second interval um, I, I find is quite valuable. The other thing too is uh, before I start my time lapse, I also um, work out the settings that I want for my photograph. So I'll go through to the photo settings and I'll make sure my focus is all in place. Um, usually here under light pollution I'm using quite a low ISO, maybe around about 800 um, and a relatively fast exposure too of about 5 seconds. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how this one turns out. and. Uh, Hopefully it turns out well. So the other thing that's uh, a little bit new in this video compared to my Orion video, and that is I've got the Prima Loose Lab um, uh, dual saddle setup um, going tonight because halfway through that Orion video, um, as you might be aware, I had an issue with the old um, dual saddle mount setup. So got my Prima Loose Lab one in and I've already tested this. Um, I snuck out uh, a few nights ago when we had a, a little bit of a clear night. It did get cloudy and rain the next morning so I couldn't image but I was able to get out and just have a quick play around and see how well it works and I'll tell you what the movement motion in this is so much smoother and so much precise and I'm not getting any flex at all. Like it's it's a really good move going down this path although it's twice as expensive as the Osmandy dual saddle just buying it straight out um, 
So I'm pretty excited about that. And I also had a little bit of a, uh, a play around with uh, Nina 2.0 beta. Um, I'm a big fan of Nina and I was a bit hesitant about going to 2.0 purely because of the synchronization. Uh, so yeah, but I, I did it. I um, added the synchronization plugin. Um, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to it, but I'm really enjoying the functions that you can um, do with the advanced sequencer, you know, like uh, start an imaging time, uh, imaging session at a certain time, or you know, ending it at a certain time, and all these other little functions that I find really cool, but I don't really want to be talking too much about that at the moment because I'm not that familiar with 2.0 yet. Um, so if you do want a bit more information, uh, to do with uh, Nina and, uh, and 2.0. There's plenty of other good channels out there that um, provide excellent info about Nina. Uh, it's just me. I'll only be able to provide some uh, information on synchronization once I've got it, uh, got used to it a little bit more. Hey guys, how you doing? Well, we're up to uh, night number two of imaging, and uh, we've still got a fair bit of a moon, actually. It's uh, staying up a little bit later now. Um, Orion is located just over here to my right. The moon is over to my left here. So I'm hoping that the sky is still a little bit darker. Well, it is a little bit darker on this side here. The, uh, the light from the moon hasn't quite um, taken up the whole of the sky yet. So fingers crossed we can uh, we can get some frames that is a little bit later in the night too. Um, so I'm hopefully I'm utilising at least a, a maybe two hours, three hours of imaging time before possibly some clouds start rolling in. I wasn't really going to image tonight, but um, I figured you know what we need to try and capture as much data as we can um, for this. So I'll risk it and I'll keep going. In the uh, the last night I was imaging, there was uh, uh, some clouds you might have been able to see from the time lapse that was on top of the rasters. Um, well, yeah, I captured about 900 um, light frames, so I'm hoping that we uh, we get some good coverage there. There is a, a chopper flying around above us at the moment, so <laughs> it's starting to take over there, and it's quite loud. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll speak to these guys in a bit. Anyway, like I was saying, we captured about 900 frames. Um, so we'll see how, uh, how that goes together. Um, I haven't been able to stack those images yet, so I can't really comment to to know exactly how many frames we got in total that are going to be usable because of all that cloud as well. Uh, so um, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, get imaging and uh, fingers crossed we capture uh, another decent amount of, uh, of frames that can be used underneath this uh, um, little bit of a moon, moon uh, night. Uh, I do know that uh, the HA data will, will be able to be used um, anyway. so. Um, it's not a not a write-off at all. So uh, let's get imaging and uh, Hopefully we've got some more frames to add to the total of panel number two my project Orion So tonight we continue on with my project Orion, panel 68. Now I began shooting panel 68 
at the, uh, the beginning of December and now we're pretty much entering the end of December. Um, approximately captured around about a thousand um, RGB frames and about the same in the HA. What I really want to be able to do is uh, maybe add another um, thousand to fifteen hundred more lights to that stack and hopefully we have a really nice completed um, panel 68 that we can then merge with M42 the Orion and that will be two uh, two images of my mosaic um, completed uh, but before I get shooting with that I'm really excited because there's a comet around at the moment Comet Leonard and uh, I'm gonna be shooting that before I um, start with panel 68 and uh, no doubt that video will pop up um, before this one's uh, finished. So if you're interested in seeing um, me shooting Comet Leonard, then I will put that uh, video at the end of this, uh, this video for you guys to, uh, to watch or in the description below. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for it to get a bit, uh, bit darker, wait for us to capture uh, Leonard, and then we're gonna get cracking with panel 68. G'day guys, well I'm pleased to announce we no need to capture uh, any more data for panel 68. We are all done and complete. So that's my second panel of this mosaic and uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it. Uh, I've captured roughly about uh, 10 hours of RGB data and about the same of uh, hydrogen alpha. So my original Orion image was 16 hours total. This image here is a, gonna be close to about 20 hours um, in total in HA and RGB. However, I'm going to tease these guys just, just a little bit. I'm only going to show you the image with the, uh, the mosaic of all my RGB data all together with Orion and panel 68. I'm not going to let these guys see the HA version just yet, or the HA and RGB version just yet. I, uh, I might make these guys just wait a little bit. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, imaging session of Panel 68, my mosaic of Orion. Um, it is done a little bit differently and it has been shot over various nights and I really wanted to try and um, just show the amount of work and, and effort that goes into some of our deep space images. Not just mine, everyone's, you know. Um, yeah, it's not just a simple, uh, you, uh, you set up, you take some images, you made the video, you put the image all together and you upload the video it's this this series and this uh, mosaic is over a duration of time and uh, hopefully that reflects that in these videos and hopefully i haven't bored you guys and you've enjoyed them all right well that's it for me so i look forward to the next panel which i haven't quite worked out which what way i'm going to go with that yet but i hope you've uh, enjoyed this video so don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave a comment or subscribe if this is uh, one of your first videos or, some, or check out some of my others. All right, so that's it for me. So until next time guys, take it easy. See you.